Alrighty guys, welcome back. It's Jay from Jay Food Reviews. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. So, I'm actually in a hotel west in Bayshore and there's a lounge called H Tasting Lounge. It's a very grand uh, lounge here and public health order says that, hey, essentially indoor dining is banned, so patio seating only. So, let's see if we can get a spot. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so, uh, just about to get seated right now. It's gonna be a very cool experience for sure. I've seen it a lot on Instagram where they have these like pods, but of course uh, I'll enjoy eating anywhere. So. so I'll take probably this one over here. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take a quick look at this menu. Take off my shades. Stay tuned. Hey okay guys, so have been seated. This is the menu right here, each tasting lounge. Lounge. They separated it into two, like plant-based and uh, seafood and meat protein, essentially. And they have a happy hour, happy hour segment right here. So I'm potentially just gonna go for maybe the mushroom linguine. It seems like a classic. Get some carbs. Potentially get lobster rolls, that sounds super delicious. And maybe try octopus salad and the fish tacos. So I'm not really looking to get like a full on menu, but take a look at this city view in front of me. And there's also some ocean view. Well, that's kind of like an inlet, but you get the gist of it. So I'm gonna push this order in, stay tuned. Guys, so seated shipped off that order like i said mushroom linguine lobster rolls octopus salad fish tacos so two kind of like uh actually three three things from the sea fish lobster and uh a lobster so that's pretty elegant i just got poured my sparkling water five star service impeccable legit each tasting lounge a part of this Western Bay Shore Hotel. And yeah, I mean like we play the waiting game, tweedling our thumbs, just waiting on the food. To be honest with you, I think whatever I did order, ship off, send it to the host there, it seems more like appetizers because tacos, lobster rolls, and octopus salad. I don't think it's like a ginormous portion. They do have like a seafood linguine, miso lingcod, beef strip line. So progressively as I've gone to these restaurants like near the water and just like in the downtown core, they kind of like harp on the same dishes. Lingcod, strip loin, uh, linguine, could be any kind of seafood, like seafood linguine with like scallops, etc, etc. So, I mean, like, I think that 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 is intentional. It is a super prominent uh, item that the chefs are accustomed to making. That's their go-to. So, wait on it. On this menu, on the back side, I wasn't fully aware. They do have some uh, cocktails and drinks. So, that's excellent, eh? But, yeah, obviously, I'm not... They got like icons of Bayshore. Uh, I'll kind of save this here in front if you guys want to see it. I think the one that stands out to me is potentially the Canarin Maru, Shinaringham Seaside Gin, Plymouth Gin, Madinai Verma Salt. Uh, sake, shisho bitters, and sesame. So that sounds Japanese. That sounds, it just pops out at me. But uh, yeah, like I said, play the waiting game right now. Just waiting on the food. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. JJ Food Reviews at each tasting lounge, like I said. Got my four plates of food. I was expecting the portions to be very tiny, but everything is massive. I mean like this mushroom linguine is like so just do a quick uh, tour here so 
this arugula was on top of the lobster roll so I got a description of the food in my hand here so this dish with some chips are essentially Nova Scotia lobster brioche nori potato chips moving on to the octopus salad so grilled tentacles citrus and radicchio salad chimichurri pickled vegetables nice uh, moving on to the mushroom linguine charred kale mushrooms cauliflower cream nutritional yeast and herb salad and of course the uh, fish tacos jalapeno lime mayo coat uh, cheese cabbage pico de gallo and cilantro very excited stay tuned alrighty guys so I'm gonna get this cutlery here get these uh, on my lap don't want to get my shirt dirty okay so I'll just put my phone there boom so I guess I'll try the octopus just because it's a very different item here boom first bite see how it is hmm nice and meaty maybe put the tacos in front Wow, that's like a very protein heavy uh, dish here. Try some of the beet root salad. Mm. Super gross. Try some of these chips. Cheers. Oh yeah, I'll kind of hold it in front so you guys see this. Nice lobster in this brioche. Yeah. Mm. That is like the most intense, creamy roll. It's so good. So, intermittently after each bite, I'm gonna cleanse my palate. Some sparkling water here. Maybe dive into these fish tacos now. Super loaded. It's like as big as my hand. Usually when you go for fish tacos, they skimp out on it, but uh, here, <laughs> I'm barely using this fork and knife to be honest with you. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. These tacos are insane. Mm. I'm really liking everything so far. some of this arugula <clears throat> mushroom linguine Whew. cheers guys mm. 
That is so intense. It has that nice mushroom flavor to it. That Gotta be careful. How's it tasting? Everything is Good. legit. I Beautiful. love it so much. Yeah, yeah. octopus salad's actually really tasty. Oh yes. Beautiful. Thank awesome, you man. for checking in. So I'm going to transition. I think this dish had a bunch of arugula as well. I didn't know if it's like a laser thing. This octopus salad is just. It's a bigger specimen. I really don't want that octopus salad to be finished, but all good things come to an end. Usually when it comes to ro lobster rolls, they tend to tie in like crab because lobster is very expensive. Nice and crispy. It's like ASMR. It's just too much food. Kind of muscle through. These tacos are very similar to the ones from Taco Fino. They have that cheese on top. Super fresh. It's like fish and chips. Some things I wanted to talk about during this low period of me eating. So, there's like some crazy news where 
a news anchor was arrested for being found naked, passed out behind the wheel. I mean, like, that's like the most craziest news that I've ever heard. So this is what she looks like. I mean, like, she's decent looking. She's a news anchor, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I can only imagine what she was doing. Like, she was on a weekend bender. But that was pretty intense, to be honest with you. Where, if you think about it, it's one of those crazy things where whatever <laughs> stays in Vegas, does, happens in Vegas, doesn't necessarily stay in Vegas. Um, for me personally, I've never done anything as intense like that. I do know someone who uh, got so super drunk that they, they were naked and they were running around, but that's a different story for another time. Second topic I want to talk about is a top NFL draft pick, Trevor Lawrence's entire signing bonus will be paid in crypto. So I believe Trevor Lawrence has a like a deal with a with a uh, an exchange called Blockfolio, like block and then portfolio, but without the port. And the exchange uh, offers like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the signing bonus is estimated to be twenty four million. So maybe at the end of the day, he's doing the right moves. He's getting it all in with crypto. You never know because crypto is like this. Just two years ago, it was around like 25,000 and then it dipped down to 5,000. Uh, back in 2011, it was like a fraction of a dollar. But now lately, it's like steadily at $50,000 Canadian, $70,000. But yeah, this is him. Maybe he's smart. Timestamp it. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. Signing bonus. Paid in crypto. And uh, some other weird news. I'll talk about it as well. Is uh, menthol cigarettes. They're expected to be banned in the U.S. So I'll kind of touch base after I eat a bit more. Stay tuned. I think I'm going to utilize a spoon here. Just have a bit of control. So this linguine. So pasta, Italian food. It's. I believe it's egg-based, like a uh, carb for noodles, but they have different kind of style of noodles. They have uh, rigatoni, they have spaghetti, they have linguine, they have uh, so many different kinds. There's a cauliflower, there's kale. There's like the salad. I would have to say this, the linguine pasta itself, it's got like a heavy, heavy coating for this sauce. Super delicious. Especially for a dish that is all like vegetarian, like plant, chimichurri. Mm.
So I'm going to do a brief intermission, the eating part was too long. Stay tuned, I'll recap with the review. BRB. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Uh, just a recap at H Tasting Lounge here. So ended up getting the Octopus Salad, the Mushroom Linguini, the Lobster Roll, and the Fish Tacos. In terms of a hierarchy, I would have to say it's a very tough one. Uh, tied for top spot is the octopus salad and the lobster roll. Lo lobster roll, biting it, very elegant, very creamy. The brioche bun is not too crispy, so I enjoyed it. The portion was a little on the smaller side, but at the end of the day, it is lobster. So, um, the best points about the octopus salad is the chimichurri sauce very delicious when you coat that octopus it's borderline cooked to perfection just because when you go to some places where they cook octopus they overcook it and it gets to be too chewy um, the beet salad it didn't really do much for me to be honest but uh, tied for top spot that's just me uh, second spot place is the taco fish tacos it's probably top spot with regards to uh, matching it with taco fino that's what I thought and uh, third place is the mushroom linguine it's it was good uh, is very homey very big portion and it tied everything together but if I were to like go and just get one dish it would probably if I were to select out of these four it probably wouldn't be that just because I mean like what stood out to me was the octopus salad and the uh, lobster roll anyways that's my thoughts each taste and lounge I'm gonna sign off thanks again for staying tuned if you haven't already click subscribe please do so signing off from Cole Harbor in Canada stay safe stay healthy and um, we'll get through COVID together guys until next time and subscribe for more videos and signing off